tape here and then uh, so the flat part is only again the five eighth of an inch and there is a uh, tape there. He, this is uh, what he uses, it's a tape, uh, it's widely available in Japan. <笑><笑>そしてこれはデビッド・バッシングに送ったカンナが、えー、と平らになってしまったらどうやって修正するかを英語で何年前だったか15年ぐらい前に思ったやつ。So um, he sent this instruction to ここもう一回自分でミニルーターみたいなので削ってそしてこんな形にするというそう uh, so this is a solution uh, how to so if the back uh, if the plane blade becomes flat everywhere like how can you fix it so this is the instruction that he made and sent it to David like about 15 years ago これは こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、こちら、
So cheaper plays are actually kind of new things that you, you got introduced in like in 1900s because uh, the material, the wood, uh, uh, it, it was getting difficult to get the really good quality, high quality wood. So uh, you needed the cheaper blade to actually make it plane well. And then also sometimes you had to uh, plane against grain. So that cheaper blade helps. So that's a kind of newer thing since the 1900s. And then also if you are not like, you know, good at planing, planing, the cheaper blade actually would help. Even if you have cheaper braid, the opening uh, can be the same the, with just a one plane blade. So, uh, 0.2 milliliter with the uh, opening. Yeah. You want to keep the opening as small as possible. Do you get a better finish this evening with single blade or a uh, two blade? I know, it's my gun, 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 it's any other questions? The photograph he just showed of him straightening out a twisted blade. How does he determine that it's twisted? Okay. How do you know that it's twisted? Check. Twist. So he puts the uh, the blade, for example, against something really flat. The back side. Yes. Back side. Uh, push, push it back side. Yes. Nomi no ede. Naos. De mo tsuko no doko ga ko agatte ru ka tte no wa ue kara mite no mie mase. Mie nai. Kono wo hikkuri kaiste, kakuni iste, uramai iste soko ni hasande koko wo okoshitai kono bae wa. Um, basically, the, the flat surface, the metal flat surface is perfect, so when you turn it over, you're going to see actually the results of your flattening. It's actually going to show up on the blade, so if there's any any movement at all, it, has, it will have gone away. So that's, that's the answer. So why? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. okay, why does he... I'm, I'm sorry, we got to... Oh, we're we have this is our day. Okay. Everybody's here for <laughs> lots of things. And your question, he can answer directly, or anyone's question, he can answer. I, I want to welcome you from Kazuroka, USA, today. There's a, a really good turnout, and uh, I'm uh, acting as the chairman today. And this group uh, has grown tremendously in the last year. We really appreciate, uh, especially because uh, translation this morning as a volunteer. Everyone in the organization is a volunteer. Everyone uh, that's in the board of directors are volunteers. Uh, we're a nonprofit, and we're here for education. Today's our education day. We have 11 members that came from Japan, especially on their own dime. They paid all of their way. They're, they're spending uh, four days with us, and this is the one day that we have to see all the uh, crafts that are shown. How many people got the newsletter? Okay, so those people that have the newsletter also have the latest schedule somewhere on their smartphone. <laughs> it's not printed out here. It's a complicated schedule. I have it printed. Actually. Okay, we just, but, but the people that have it on their smartphone, they can see what's happening. It's not just one a venue. There are two venues. So plan your day using that schedule carefully so you know where you want to be at the various times. There are demonstrations that are going to be done this morning, that's before lunch, that are not going to be done in the afternoon, so you want to make sure that you understand what the schedule is. My first and foremost comment is going to be about safety. There are many, many sharp tools, 
If you did not bring the tool, do not pick it up. If you want to pick up someone else's tool, you have a conversation with them. Uh, this is very, very important to us and the, and the school. Uh, we're under uh, some constraints about the use of some of these sharp tools. All of you, I assume, are woodworkers or uh, have some experience in these sharp tools. These are sharper than anything that we have in our shops. These are so sharp that you walk past it, you can get sliced. <laughs> so we also have a hewing exposition, uh, exhibition. This has never been done in the United States. It's something where some of the chips can fly up to 30 to 40 feet from where they start. So that um, is only going to be done with people that have some expertise in the, actually the use of the masakari or the uh, um, uh, broad axe. Uh, that will be done on the outside of that room over there. Um, the one thing that I really wanted to talk to you about that we're really excited about is Kezuro Kai Japan from the very beginning also wanted to be Skuro Kai. Skuro Kai means let's build something together. If we did that in Palomar, how many people have been, were at Palomar where some of those projects happened? There's a good number of you. So you can actually mentor other people. Let them know what's happening. Part of that is you bring your own tools, you come to the event, you're ready to help with building something. What we're building is a wisteria arbor for Hakone Gardens. And that's going to be gifted to Hakone Gardens and actually constructed sometime in January. But we're going to actually put it together today. Uh, Yose, is Yose in the room? No, no, no. He's over there working already. It's a a little bit different than you think a Wisteria Arbor could be a fairly simple thing. We tried to make it a little bit more complicated. It was in the newsletter. It showed that wonderful ads, uh, hexagonal and octagonal shape. We're going to use those shapes. Trying to put joinery together when you're starting with something that doesn't have a flat surface is a little bit more complicated. Anyone who's interested in working on that, uh, we welcome you. But we also want to tell you that if there's too many people on the project, Please give other people a chance. Work for an hour, step back. If you see somebody waiting, let them step up and do some of that work. Uh, we want to give everyone a chance to do everything. There's a heck of a lot happening today. And we, the people in the red shirts today, are the volunteers or the board members of Kezro Kai USA. And we will be uh, directing you or helping you find the things that you want to do uh, most. And there's a lot of people to be in that shop. Usually there's 30 students at the most. There's going to be 100, 150 people. So if you see it getting really crowded in, a, in an area, you realize you can move to the next area. The last thing I wanted to talk about was we have vendors here. We have vendors that have paid part of the cost of our operation, and we really want to support them. They're our sponsors, and they're in the room to the kitty corner on the far side of the wood shop. Please go in there. Introduce yourselves, get to know them. The, uh, the vendors are Hita Tool. Most people know Hita Tool. They're, they've been in the Bay Area for 28, no, 38 years. And uh, then there's uh, Suzuki uh, Tool. And then there's the Sharpening Stone. I, I, what's the name of this company? Japan Stone. Japan Stone. And then there's Jackal, Jackal Enterprises. Enterprise, yeah. And is there a yeah. college also, Laney College? Uh, to me, yeah. uh, okay, so <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of different things, and some uh, vendors that I want you to meet and, and get to know. They're selling some interesting uh, tools, tools that you can use today if you buy them uh, from them. Um, and then there's a sharpening station. That's a critical part to sharp, sharpness of tools. That's on the outside in the veranda, covered veranda. Uh, Another just sort of important thing is it's going to be hot and dry today. The, the kids at the school have plenty of water. It's uh, available over at the uh, Kez Cafe, which is open for coffee, drinks, and sweets. They've made all the, their own uh, uh, food. And at lunch, they'll be serving us lunch. And that's not part of your cost to get in, so it's a separate money, and that goes to the school programs, their uh, school programs. And they spent until 9 o'clock last night making the bentos and getting everything ready for you. So hopefully we all support them by uh, buying the bentos and enjoying the food. And please thank them for their help. 
it was really something that uh, they stepped up uh, to do this. Are there any students from the, the programs here? Can you raise your hands? Any of the students? There's a few. Okay, great. So these are from the woodworking word, woodworking program. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate you guys coming, and uh, take take the opportunity to meet some of these people or talk, ask any questions you have. There's a lot of people with a huge amount of knowledge in here. And um, the, some of the people that are competing, uh, this is not competition, cutthroat competition. This is really, what we're trying to do is get the next generation involved in some of this fun. So if you see a young guy that's like struggling with their, their tool or trying to figure out how to do the tuning, step up. Put yours aside, go over there, and help them tune their plane, help them get their tool into a usable uh, quality, and then go back to what you're doing. But this is really part of this uh, family that we're a part of. We all feel like we know each other. I've known many of your faces for 20 years. I just want to welcome you, but I also want to say, hey, let's really reach out and try to at least communicate with five or six new people today so that you can actually bring them into the knowledge base that this amounts to a huge mountain of information that can't be absorbed in one lifetime. My apprenticeship started in 1973 in Japan. When I left that apprenticeship after seven years, I was pretty proud. I said to the head carpenter, how long will it really take me to become a Japanese carpenter? And he, without blinking an eye, said 400 years. <laughs> and I laughed. No one else in the room laughed. It was my Sayonara party, and I was pretty drunk. I laughed. When I sobered up, I realized this is what that 400 years is. This group of knowledge that we can't have as individuals, especially in this country. We go out, we spread out, and we're pretty diffused. We don't have enough energy to actually take on the kinds of projects like raising a temple or putting together a large building. But together we can do that. And that's what the Skurokai is all about. That's what this energy of the Kezurokai is all about. And so let's make it happen. And tonight we're going to have a, a formal dinner where we're going to make uh, the awards for the people who win. And there are prizes for the winners of the Kezuro competition. But there are also awards being given to special people that have contributed in the past year. So um, I want you guys to come. That's at the lodge, uh, which is just kitty corner on the other side of the campus. And that starts um, 5.30, right after we're finished cleaning up here. And everybody will help cleaning up so we can just leave this place just the way we found it. The campus is here. The principal of the campus will be here. Um, uh, Peter Jordan, are you in this room? Peter Jordan is our sponsor. He's a master uh, teacher on this campus, and he introduced us and allowed us to have this uh, site for free for the day, which is an amazing uh, contribution. And uh, he'll be floating around with his students, and uh, we really uh, want to thank him, especially tonight at the banquet. We'll make it an effort. And everybody knows Kamijo-san. He's not just himself, he also represents the other 11 people that are here. Uh, and each one of them has uh, a unique thing. It was pretty, I tried to describe everything in the newsletter about what it is. If you don't uh, know, it doesn't matter. You walk up, you watch them, you ask questions, you talk to them. They're all displaying in the room next <laughs> to, to here. Any other questions like to start with? The bathrooms are on the outside of the building out here. Um, and uh, oh, let's, thank, let's thank Aaron too. Yes, of course. Aaron, uh, is Aaron in here? Okay, Aaron's been the last three months our, our liaison uh, with the woodworking um, shop uh, program, and he's, he's really uh, done a lot to help support us and, and give us contributions in many, many ways. And we really thank you, Aaron. Yep. Okay, I've said enough. Uh, so I think, you guys, it, it's all on your own. And oh, by the way, the Skorokai, we can only accommodate probably 10 people at a time. So if you get there and it's like already filled up, come back half an hour, 45 minutes later. Um, make sure you get 
to be part of that wisteria arbor. It's going to all have an, It's going to have a full add surface on all all the edges. So it's going to be a pretty interesting. So, um, uh, I got a project. question about that. So yes. is that here or is that over at the uh, garden? The only thing at the garden is what was mentioned in the last um, newsletter, and that that is.